So last night, after 15 years, the Colonel walks into my office. Made me take a good hard look at myself. Maybe I have hit bottom, and maybe I do look like hell. Lord knows the only exercise I've had lately is tipping the bottle and flipping cards into my hat. I gotta find some work. Contrary to what the Colonel might think, I'm as good a detective as he ever was. Now I just gotta prove it. I'm gonna scare up a job today, even if it means finding somebody's lost puppy. Oh boy, male. A pre-approved electronic shop credit card application addressed to the previous occupant. Just needs to be signed, stamped, and mailed. My phonograph's an old family heirloom. I love to play the classics. Cool in the gang, peaches and herb. My gun. I love it so much! Old trusty sidearm. Been with me since the beginning. You want some of this, huh? Bam, bam! Hey, bam, bam, bam! Bam! Bam, bam! Bam! And you! <sighs> hey! Hey, Sonny, can you help me out? My girlfriend threw my gun out of the window. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, just pick it up and, uh... Hey, don't... don't point that thing up here. That's not a toy, you know! Oh, my hell. No matter how bad things got, I always had my gun. Now I've lost that, too. I have a feeling this is gonna be one of those days. Ah, Sylvia. My ex-wife. Whenever I think things can't get any worse, I think about her and how she totally screwed up my life. She's a woman who loves a man, any man, any time. I'll never forget the day I came home early and caught her with the upholstery man. Oh, there you are. I just got done with the chair. I'll be sending the bill to your husband. Oh, Rudy. Let's not think about my husband right now. I was, I was watching you upholstery and you're so big and strong. Do you really think so? Well, yes. God, I've only known you for ten minutes and I feel like I've known you forever. Oh, yes, look. And look at this muscle. Oh. The way you hold me, Tex, Tex never held me like this. <clears throat> oh, kiss me, Rudy, and set my lips on fire. Okay. Oh, Tex, honey, I wasn't expecting you home so soon. Well, duh, obviously. Now I know why the Rota Rooter man keeps calling and asking whether we need our plumbing checked. Well, I gotta admit, those chairs look pretty good. Uh, thanks. Listen, how about I don't charge you on the labor and we call it even? Fair enough. But from here on out, Rudy, customer servicing doesn't include my wife. See, honey? I saved you some money again. Aren't you happy? I married her for better or worse. Unfortunately, it never got any better. Nothing in here but a pen. This is probably the only writing utensil that works in the whole office. Nothing in here but a 
stamp. One last $10 stamp waits patiently to be licked and mailed. I need to run this thing down to the auto post box on the street. Oh great, another incoming message that won't print out. If I don't get a new fax machine, I'll be out of business. Crimelink computer is the only valuable piece of equipment left in the office. By entering suspect information like height, weight, and hair color, I can access the suspect's personal files. I spent weeks earning this baby. Best 20 bucks I ever spent. The UI of U was the only place that would accept me. Half the course credit was earned by locating the university. This one really isn't art, it's a placemat from Taco Bob's. That hutch holds a life's worth of knickknacks, patty wax, and the world's largest piece of elbow macaroni. This piece of art is called Two Whales on a Bender. Crimelink Computer is the only valuable... This cabinet is where my old successes go to die. Ah, nothing here but nostalgia. Things look pretty slow on the street today. Toxic Taste is a novel by Lou G. Trundle, the only mutant popular enough to make the New York Times bestseller list. Hip-hop English keeps me up on all the slang kids are using today. World War IV. A dark and reactionary vision of the coming century by Rush Limbaugh III. Ah, uh, the fabulous Dior lamp. I bought it for 77 cents. My phone had worked perfectly if it hadn't been disconnected. The scotch guard that Rudy's upholstering service put on my office chairs will stand up to anything. And I ought to know. I love murder mysteries. Ah, uh, to be a fictional detective. Everything would be so much simpler then. This pure mountain spring water is indispensable, literally. I'm out of paper cups. The dusty credenza I've got serves only one purpose, and that's to keep the dust off the floor. That hutch holds a life's worth of knickknacks, patty wax, and the world's largest piece of elbow macaroni. Another pile of garbage. There just aren't enough hours in the day. Well, since the building inspector has only one eye and no depth perception, the hotel manager painted fire extinguishers in all the apartments. It saved him a bundle. That's a perfect bed for a destitute P.I. Small, lightweight, no sheets required. I call this painting, uh, The Big Spill. The stupid light switch is stuck in the on position. Could be worse, I guess. Ah, the closet door. All I've ever needed was a soft felt fedora, a well-tailored overcoat, and a comfy pair of sneakers. Some people know what they like, and they stay with it. Great-great-grandpa Murphy made it through the Depression by teaching cha-cha lessons to rich older women. He made thousands before the authorities found out he had no formal training. The office was actually a dance studio before I moved in. And Latin dancing is a Murphy family tradition. That's the door to the street.